Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your camera track to and follow any object in Blender. So you can see this is just a little example scene I have here that I animated of a little ship and it's a really quick dirty animation and it just kind of takes off and flies away. And I've gotten a camera here in my scene and instead of animating this camera keyframe by keyframe to follow the ship, I've just used a simple constraint to make it follow. And not only am I gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you why it's important to use empties and how that can give you more control. So you can actually use empties in the system and um, move the camera itself. And it doesn't matter where you move it, you can even move it in real time. It'll always be locked on on that point over there. So if you think this is something you wanna learn and you're not familiar with it, keep watching the little tutorial. I'll explain that real quick. So let's get started. So I've got a little example scene here. This is just one of my models that I just did a really quick crappy animation with. And it's just like this ship that just kind of flies up. And I just put a static camera here in my scene. So the camera's just sitting here. And you can see in camera view, it's kind of like just sitting there. But when the um, ship flies up here, it's not following along. Right now I could come in here and manually animate and keyframe the um, camera as this is flying around but that would be um, a very inefficient way of working and quite destructive so i'm going to delete these keyframes and go back to my original frame so you can do this with any animation or anything that's kind of moving in your scene so what you need to do is select the camera which you want to um, have this constraint applied to so we're going to select the camera here so select the camera in whatever scene you're working with click over here on the constraints tab so object constraints and you go to add object constraint and under here is a category called tracking. So we're gonna to go to the very bottom one. Some of these kind of are similar, but we're not gonna talk about them today. So we're gonna to go to track two, it's the one we're interested in. And all you simply have to do here is click on the little target, um, it's an eyedropper, and then click on the object that you want it to follow. So in this case, I'll click on just a, a part of my ship. So now if I kind of play this animation, you're gonna see that the camera is automatically pointing at that, right? So you can see here, it's just following along. I'm not doing anything as far as animation goes. It's literally just happening, happening automatically. It's tracking towards that point, which is all good. But the thing is, um, I'm gonna show you another way you can do this that might be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and let's go Shift A. Go down to your empty options, add in an empty. Now an empty is really good because it won't render. It's like a dummy object as it's also known. So now what you can do, is you can select the camera. You can go to the target here under the constraints, get rid of that, get the eyedropper and select the empty. Now, if we actually select this empty, right? We can hold and shift and select any object here on a model that you want. Like for example, it could be something like a car or something in your scene. Control P and then go object keep transform. And the advantage of this is now this um, camera is gonna be constrained to this empty here, right? But the nice thing about it is unlike the actual ship itself, we can now move this empty around. So it gives us a little bit of play. So you can see here how nice that is. So not only um, can we have it automatically track, but we can in real time move this empty around and give a little bit of um, adjustment to our scene. So it gives us a lot more control. And not only that, what you can also do is you can actually select the camera itself with the camera selected, go to your starting frame and you can go Shift S. So Shift S and you can go to cursor to select it. It'll place a little cursor here. And now if you go Shift A, you go to your empty options, you can add in another empty, just choose whichever one. I'm gonna go with cube. Select your camera, holding in Shift select the empty. Go Control P and then object keep transform. And now not only can we adjust this over here, this empty, in real time as our animation is happening, we can also select this empty here and move that around, right? And we can even move out, grab our camera here and we can move the camera from the empty like that. So we can have all sorts of different controls here with just this really simple setup. And it doesn't matter where the object here that we're trying to track is in our scene, the camera will always be pointing at it as you can see here. So it's just a really, really cool, simple little technique. So I hope you guys learned something from this. Maybe you can apply this to some of your animations, make things a little bit easier for yourselves. If you do, let me know about it. I do read the comments as much as I can. I don't get to every kind of comment, but I do sometimes see some of the comments and they're really interesting. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. And if you haven't found this too interesting, check out some of my other content. I make like full character tutorials and things as well on my channel, um, things that you might be more interested in.